Hello, I am Achoom, the cat of many hats. And last time on D&D Minus, we had a little buff up sesh at Purgatoni D's house of just okay stuff. He let us know that the quality of the items available to us between each level seems to depend on how good we've been in the last level of hell. I don't know. Sounds like a bunch of uh, judgy deity stuff. Boring. I got a I got a toy mouse that can turn into a wolf. Vardos got a big jar of blood. Damien got, let's see, a vampire dagger. And Gravy got, oh, mm, let's see, um, a bag of cheese? Anyway, I'd say we're plenty prepared for what the next level of hell has in store. <laughs> All right. As the blackness clears, you find yourselves on the deck of a majestic galleon. Carl the Pug of Pegacorn, replete in full captain's outfit. <gasps> We're pirates. <laughs> I'm a pirate cat. <laughs> stands at the ship's wheel behind you and says, You know, I don't like much about Phlegathos, but the ride is pretty sweet. I gotta admit, I'm surprised you guys left Menoris. Did you try the pears while you were there? It was so good, actually. It's Some amazing. of us. Okay. But did you get to hear one of Mamoon's great jokes? I'm sorry I couldn't hear you over the sound of my little pirate hat. <laughs> you did have a pirate hat. That's very good. You I know, do you have a pirate, a pirate hat on hat. right now. I am sure. wearing an eye patch. And an eye patch. Yeah, oh, yeah. Is, I thought there might be an eye patch in there. <laughs> oh, I'm going to replace one of these legs with a wooden peg leg suit, too. Sure, it's going to be absolutely. great. Absolutely. Cut off one of your legs. Extreme <laughs> commitment to the bit. I like it. Oh, I have a little parrot costume. Can I look for the mouse? Where's the mouse? Oh, sure. Searching for a Just swings down on a rope, slaps you in the face, swings back up to the top of the mast. <laughs> God damn it. You knew that's exactly what I was wait, going to do, damn wait, it. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. I'm going to put a little snare. I'm going to put out a snare. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm casting snare right sure. now. I'm going to put down the snare and I'm going to put a little little parrot costume in it. And uh, <laughs> Heath has cheese. Oh, <gasps> put some cheese I like in there. My cheese thing. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I'd like to roll a D1000 or 100, D100, I believe. Oh, yeah. Roll a D100 <laughs> and let us know what you got on the cheese table. All right. Nice. We could do an hour on this shit. Yeah, I no, think, we're fine we on anywhere. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what's happening around us right now. This is very important to me. All right. I rolled a 19, which is the Bourseau of Babel. Mm. Causes the consumer to speak in rhyme for one hour. Yes. Oh my god, right, a little he, rapping mouse. You have you gotta rhyme. Oh no, that's right. It's, someone has to eat it, right? I have to look for him. But don't you have him. a thing where it like compels you to eat it if no one else eats it? Yeah, so if Bartholomew doesn't grab it, <laughs> I will have to try my best to speak in rhymes for one hour. Okay. I'm so, so happy about this. You have the power. Tower. Oh, Anna, just throw the fucking cheese overboard, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. He has to roll a wisdom saving throw, right? Yes, that is a wisdom saving throw of 12 plus. Let me roll that for him. It's cheese, so I'm going to say he has disadvantage, right, as a mouse. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Ooh. That is a 15. <gasps> However. And a 18. No fucking mouse. Jeez. No mouse. Oh, shit. Somewhere within the halls of the ship, you hear, fuck you, man, that's a stupid trap. That's very <laughs> obvious. I see oh, that. Oh, no. So what do you do, Heath? So, like, I have still an hour remaining where he might grab it, right? No, no, no. If you don't convince someone else to eat it, your character will be compelled to eat it. That's what it says. Here we go. <laughs> How much time do I have? Does not say. I'm going to say you didn't do it, so you immediately feel compelled to eat it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me a wisdom saving throw. If you get higher than an 18, you don't eat this cheese. I was I was about to say I eat the cheese, but I'm going to take the roll. Which take the roll. It's mm -hmm. probably going to lead to the same thing. Take the roll. Yeah, that's going to lead to the same thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All I right. eat the cheese. If you please. Now, I will be merciful and I will say that only gravy has to speak in rhyme for the next hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, what? 
Wait, of, of course only gravy. He's the one that ate the cheese. Right, well, no, but he, he, he then he, right doesn't have he to speak. Oh, right doesn't sure, have to sure, sure. You can. If I want. You're being super can quiet you? right now. Can maybe. you? Maybe. <laughs> if you want. If I You started could. off with want. There's not, you know. Oh, well, there was. I don't mean to flaunt, nope, but nope. I could Opportunity do Opportunity came and went, everybody. We did it. We did, an, <laughs> we did an A, a B, and a C. A, f- a famous not rhyming couplet. <laughs> not a couplet. Unless you want to end that with a B. B. Okay, there, there we go. How we dare did you? It. All right. No. Cheese. No. Nailed it. Bees. This is the widest podcast we've ever done. Yeah. All right. As you watch Gravy attempt to rhyme or the actor who plays him attempt to rhyme, <laughs> I don't know. You'll f- figure it out in post. But as you watch that, the galleon pulls up at a majestic dockside of a beautiful modern city. Carl turns to you all and says, I wish I could be more help on this level, but I've actually never been to the city itself. Word is Phlegathos is dangerous for regular folks. So uh, I stick to the water. Plus, Come on, the boat's pretty sweet, right? But you guys know the drill, right? Find the head of the city, ask for the key to the next level, do whatever they tell you to do, bing, bang, boom. Good luck, I'll see you on the next one. Guys, we were just on a fucking boat with a dude who had to rhyme, and we didn't do the no more rhymes, now I mean it lines. I That's know. Sad. We oh, suck. No. We fucking To suck. be fair, our co-host, Heath Enright, is having a panic attack just <laughs> trying to rhyme good, which is the last word he saw for the last... <laughs> 17 or so seconds that we've been he's been silent podcast listener if he doesn't speak for the rest of the podcast this is why under the giant passing on a technicality that's a hard one <laughs> suppliant fuck there okay go. Go ahead. all right there we go <laughs> you wander the streets of phlegathos and find what seems like a relatively normal city there are shops like hot topic Braggington Coat Factory and a smoothie oh. place called Pride and Prejudice. Juice. <laughs> I don't. What are the puns? Okay, we're, the, we're, to in, be the, we're in the pride part of hell. Thank you. We're in the pride. Indeed. Indeed. Right. Indeed. The sin of pride. So far, yeah, it's right. been seven deadly sins, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, make a perception check for me. Oh, I Did like you say to do perception. Hoot topic. Hoot topic. Hoot, Hoot. 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 topic. Hoot. Twenty one. 21. All right. If anyone gets higher than a 21, let me know. But here's what I will say. Okay. With a 21, I'll tell you this. On all the layers of hell so far, you've seen a lot of devils, right? After all, this is where devils are from. But you don't see any devils on the streets of Phlegathos. And because you got that 21, I'll also say this. While this looks like a relatively ordinary modern city, everyone looks distinctly nervous And there's a lot of construction and repairs going on, like a lot. When you say modern city, are you thinking like future utopia or are you thinking like high rise? Uh, High rise, modern to us. So uh, when do you live, Morgan? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you're in Canada. You guys are in the future. That's right. He is literally in a modern. Remember, we had a Toronto live show. Future utopia. I meant now where I'm right. right. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) I meant dual citizenship. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the Leafs. Except God. Oh. <laughs> God is so bad. Be honest, almost the entire city is despondent with rage about the fucking Leafs losing to the Bruins. It was bad. In overtime. Mm-hmm. In, in game, game seven. seven. Oh, for the, oh, no. For the fourth or fifth time in a row losing game seven to the Bruins oh. in the first round. Oh, yeah. Like Ouch. cursed territory. You hate to yeah. see it. You hate to yeah. see it. Mm. I know they're talking about hockey, just so you know, the hockey. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I I know. I know. If it's not sumo, Anna's eyes glaze it's not over. Sumo, you know? my, I, like, <laughs> exactly. Her champ chomp. But we're really hurting last week. Everybody. I am yeah. hurting so bad. Honestly, I feel like a leaf at the moment. So <laughs> I get it. Are you experiencing grief? Nailed it. Leaf? Oh. Grief? Was that gravy? There's no meter here. I, I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> it only says he has to speak in rhyme. It does not say yeah. he has to speak yeah, in exactly. poem. Okay, okay, cool, cool, fair. Don't, don't hop, Heath. <laughs> That's how they yell at each other in folk music. They yell hop back and forth. You We're continue. all talking about niche. Okay. Yeah, they Never yell mind. hop at each other, like as an argument. It's the best. No, it's not an argument. It's an argument. I can tell. Just- you might not think it's an argument. People are arguing with you. I love that. And I was like, no, it's not a fucking argument. <laughs> You watch my this wife yell hop at someone who's off the beat. And you'll see <laughs> This is now an argument. Yeah. You continue to wander the city till you find yourselves at a small park. 
A small elven girl and her family are out for a walk with what is very obviously her brand new kitten. She hugs and snuggles the kitten constantly, but eventually it slips from her squeezing grasp and finds its way up a nearby tree. Before her parents can intercede, you hear her say, My kitty, help! And no sooner have the words left her mouth than there is a deafening sonic boom. A civilian not 10 feet from you explodes into red mist as a spandex-clad superhero blasts <laughs> through his body at hyperspeed and comes to a screeching stop in front of the little girl and her family and says, Did someone call for help? The little girl tries to say no, but it's too late. The hero has spied her kitten up a tree and is already running at super speed around the tree, shouting, Not to worry, little girl. Saving your cat will be tornado no problem. And sure enough, he has kicked up a tornado, which lifts the little girl's cat out of the tree, but also sucks up several cars, people, and park benches nearby as well. The oblivious hero stops running, and the cat lands safely in the little girl's arms unharmed. The car's civilians and park benches, on the other hand, are not so lucky. The hero obliviously turns to the little girl and says, All in a day's work, kiddo. Off I go. And in a flash of speed, another civilian is exploded into red mist as he disappears. That guy was pretty awesome. <laughs> so that civilian is dead. That exploded. Yeah. No, like Two. the red mist. Yeah, 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 yeah. well, and whoever yeah. was caught up in that tornado. Tornado, yeah. Yeah. And maybe oh. he got crushed by the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. My God. <laughs> but he saved the kitten, though. <laughs> <laughs> Who watches the watchman? <laughs> So you hear a wet splorching sound behind you, and you turn Wait, around. Wait, a wet what now? <laughs> a wet splorching sound behind you? I, I, that's that's one of my favorite neologisms of all goddamn time. That's just, I don't believe splorching is a word, but it is now, damn it, and I already know what it means. We've so. been reading a lot of Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah, it's a word. <laughs> it's, it's like onomatopoetically intuitive. It makes, yeah, 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 yeah. it fits. It's the guy from uh, Mad Magazine who created all the, what's his name? Splorch. Mad Magazine. Alfred E. Newman? No. What? <laughs> it's not that. It's, he's a cartoonist. He was the weird shitting and grin. No, he did a lot of. That's Alfred E. Newman. That's no, Alfred did, E. Newman. Oh. Did a lot of. Now I'm looking it up. I'm Googling it. Al Jaffe. <laughs> Cut this out. David Bird. Sergio Aragones. Ooh, Sergio Aragones. Don Martin. Oh, okay. Don right. I would have gotten there eventually. Regular Don <laughs> Martin over here. Thank you. I would have I was. I was, I was apt. At three. God damn it. Apt doesn't rhyme with Martin. <laughs> So anyways, you hear a splorch and turn around and spy the first devil you have seen on this plane so far. He's wearing a janitor's outfit and is standing behind you, mopping up whatever is left of the person the hero ran through. And he says, first time experiencing a super, eh? I can always tell when someone's new. Yeah, things around here used to be just like every other layer. You know, fire and torture, the usual stuff. Even had a king and queen down here to run things. The Lyle and Fiona. But then... Asmodeus came along and turned him into supers with those power crystals and everything changed. Power crystals, you say? I want a power crystal, guys, really bad. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, see, the reason we got power crystals down here is powerful people end up in hell too. Everyone on this layer was quite powerful in their day. Isn't that right, little girl? And the little girl's eyes roll up in her head and she says, I am the avatar of the fallen <laughs> god Wrath Mu. <laughs> 10,000 <laughs> lives have I destroyed for his dark purpose. See? Can't exactly run a proper hell if devils meant to torture baddies are getting their butts kicked by whatever the fuck she just turned into. So Asmodeus came up with power crystals, which make the folks who use them on this level impervious to harm from anybody not using one. The biggest, baddest son of a lich down here is absolutely useless against anyone wielding a power crystal. Teaches the OC's humility right quick, let me tell you. I want power crystals more now. <laughs> so what's the kitten then? The kitten's eyes roll back in its head and it's like, meow, 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 meow. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, don't fuck with him. Little girl's like, this guy fucking gets it and they high five. <laughs> Interesting. So I, I don't suppose you know where we could pick up some of these power crystals. Uh, not possible, I'm afraid, my friend. They're all under the watch of the League of Equity in the Hall of Equity. Mm. And they only give out power crystals to devils. Better to avoid it entirely. And whatever you do, 
Don't ask for H E L P. Sure. Guys, I think they'd make an exception in my case because, you know. Oh, God, don't. I'm, no, because <laughs> I'm so, you know, I'm, I'm so chaste and, and just. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'd make a great superhero. You guys don't think I would make a great superhero? I, just, I feel like I sort of was born for this role. No? You're my superhero. Of the four of us, yes. Well, there you go. Yeah, I, I should totally. <laughs> I like how Morgan answered that as Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> should we go sniff around this this super club? Hall of Equity? Are tieflings half devil? Yes, you are. Okay. He's not half demon? You are not a devil, however. So you're not, you're not, not devil, half right? devil. You have devil ancestry. You are not a devil. Okay. So how do these how, these power crystals that you're talking about is that like so do you like fuse with it or consume it or is that just something you have to carry around with you? Well, I think they've got some kind of uh, superfication chamber, but uh, it's never been my kind of deal. So uh, basically, on this level, if you're a devil, you either choose to become a super, which is uh, not my cup of tea, or you're on cleanup duty, which, as you can see, I am. And then he rings out his mop begrudgingly into a bucket. And this is your cup of tea? I mean, <laughs> better than being a super and having to, you know, squish people all the time. Mm. Is it, though? It, having to? Yeah. Out of necessity? Mm-hmm, yeah, once the devils get these power crystals in them, they go mad with power, and they think they're wandering around uh, H-E-L-P-ing people, and as you can see, and he gestures at the benches, which have, like, impaled a small gnome nearby... They do more harm than good. Mm. I still want one. <laughs> Feels like something magical happens if we, you know, say out H-E-L-P, right? Don't say I'm not, it. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying. I feel like You're that's also gonna, not rhyming. You're that's rhyming. You have to rhyme. Heath, you have to rhyme. <laughs> it's going to be a key. You ended with if H-E-L-P. I, yeah, it's and be then I said easy. key. <laughs> I did rhyme. Fucking pay attention. <laughs> All right. Attention. Go ahead. Attention. Attention. It. <laughs> Mention of dissension here in our ranks. Oh. Thanks. You're next. Keep going. Yeah. No, you're you're next. Text. You gotta cl- you gotta close the couplet. No, it, you can you can. I'm hanging it. Hanging it. I'm hanging it. Continue. Text. What? Set. Uh, it, you said next. I was giving you one. No, I'm gonna come in late. I'm setting it up for later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. This is the worst thing that's ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan, you had a question. Yeah, are the, well, I was going to do an insight check on whether, like, the non-devil people want to be here. Like, if I was going to try and do, like, the family. Sure. I don't know if that, an insight check is correct. I think it's fair to say that, like, nobody in hell wants to be there, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, they were, like, walking in a park happy with a kitten. I guess as long as they don't say the magic word, they're... Fine. That's why I was going to do an insight check, see if I can like kind of glean. So insight is usually for someone you're talking to. Do you want to go over and talk to them? Sure. Yeah. So they're comforting the little girl and the, the father's like, there, there, honey. You didn't understand. No, he, you saw that guy get exploded. Yeah, no, that was pretty gross the way that guy got exploded. Oh, Mittens, that guy got exploded. And Mittens is like, <gasps> oh, yes, I don't remember. <laughs> and she's like, Mittens, drop the bit. It's really a one line situation. He's like, what? A one line situation? And she's like, yeah, I mean, what are we? We're going to follow up with being demon infested? And he's like, no, that makes sense. Oh, another cat that can talk. Hello, sir. Yeah, that'd actually be better. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just fuck myself. No, 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 no. I was saying that it would be better if you talked to the cat. We'd probably do better than me di- talking to the elves. Oh, yeah. Last time I talked to fucking animals, it worked so <laughs> well for everybody. <laughs> oh, hello there. It's uh, good to see another talking cat. Oh, now oh, now you're talking. Okay. I made myself look like an <laughs> asshole, and now you decide to talk to me. Sure, whatever. I'm going to pretend to be like a Jehovah's Witness and be like, are you happy here? No, man. It's hell. Okay. Why would I be happy here? <laughs> Did you not see two people get exploded just now? Who is this? <laughs> hey, buddy, is this you? This guy with you? This guy with you? Oh, oh, uh, him? I barely know him. I barely know him. <laughs> okay, understandable. Yeah. More like you catly know him. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. 
<laughs> Hi, Bob. That's hey, a good have you one. managed that's to that's find great. any mice around here? I keep asking. Oh my and god! And I just got have slapped in the face. No, was that was name? That was his name. Yes, he's a. Is he really cool? Little shit. Like cool as shit, and then he slaps you in the face. No, he's not cool as shit. He's a little, little turd boy. I hate him. Make a dexterity saving throw for me. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I get a nat 20 on this, can I catch him in my mouth? I will never tell you what's going can to happen. Can I murder in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> I get a crit right now. 14. Slaps you in the face. I cruel shit, man. And then he disappears. <laughs> God, I hate that guy so much. That seemed pretty cool. You have to admit that was pretty cool. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Look at my butthole. Oh, look at my butthole. Look at my butthole. Do you see this butthole? Look at this butthole. Look at this butthole. Stare into my butthole and see your future. (laughs) I have a weird job. (laughs) (laughs) Anna and I are very used to this role play. So like, if you guys want to (laughs) just fucking click out a Zencaster, we got the rest of the episode. uh, (laughs) Exit stage, right? (laughs) Let's go find these fucking crystals. All right, you guys are going to try to head to the Hall of Equity? Absolutely. All right. It doesn't sound like there's anywhere else to go. Sure. I, well, you can go. the one location. I mean, we, I guess we could go to Hot Topic. You, you could go to Hot Topic. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, I feel like Damien would want to go stop. I was going to say, should we go to Hot Topic really quick? Let's stop at Hot Topic along Let's the way. Let's go to Hot Topic, yeah. What? Are, I'm sorry. Do you need another studded belt or something? Yes. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's the best, Damien. It's the fucking best. More yeah. jelly bracelets. Jelly bracelets and... T-shirts from bands that seem like, like you understand it's an aesthetic, but maybe, maybe this kind of music isn't healthy for the people involved. You try, try not to think about it <laughs> too much. A hot topic? Yeah. It's fucking like pop rock. Oh, you kidding? Is it? <laughs> you think it's hard music that they sell at Hot Topic? Every time I pass by in the mall, someone was wearing clown makeup and I'm like, I feel like that guy should hug his dad. It's very scary <laughs> to me. No, it's very well. Also, for music. some re- weird reason, there's like kawaii shit in there too. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That's and pretty, there's like like a strawberry hat. I'm more of a look. I think you fit into one of three mall stores. You either live long enough to see yourself become a candle factory, or you <laughs> die a hot topic. <laughs> I feel like it's like Abercrombie. And Fitch. You're either Toys R Us, Hot Topic, or J.C. Penny. There you go. Yes, I'm definitely. I belong at Toys R Us. Oh, I thought the third one was gonna be Crocs store. Ooh, Crocs, oh, Crocs, you can Crocs at JC Penny, can you? Can? Kids are wearing Crocs now. And it's a they are. They think it's statement. cool. The Zoomers. Wow, that's terrible. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go to Hot Topic. Okay. Yeah. So you go to Hot Topic, get some super cool swag. Uh, do you ask any questions? You just like get some clothes and fuck off. Yeah. No. 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 I'm gonna ask the salesperson. Like, hey. Hey. Welcome. To- can you like tell that I'm like part? devil like can, is it obvious absolutely no? oh awesome okay i'm part devil too cool what part i'm 147th on my grandma's side uh Damian. i don't think you can be a 47th wow that's <laughs> you're a bigot <laughs> damien make a perception check for me okay or insight check sorry insight okay oh 10 yeah he's totally 147th devil yeah <laughs> Cool. I have like 17 more jelly bricks. Let's say we can go to the Hall of Equity now. You guys headed to the Hall of Equity? I guess. What's it like? Um, well, if you're a devil, it's pretty cool. Like you can go there and get superpowers and stuff. Okay. But if you're not a devil, they like kill you instantly. So just like Ooh. be aware of that. What if you're like 147th? Yeah, they will kill you instantly. Okay. You got to be like full devil. Full devil. Yeah, that's a real requirement there. What if you're a cat? Um, I mean, that's not a devil, so I'm going to guess that that would just involve killing you instantly. (laughs) Disappointing. Why don't... Oh, okay. Hear me out. I know it went badly last time. I could try to find a mouse. Ask that mouse how to get in without being seen. I tell you what, I will give you bardic inspiration on your roll. I... Whip out my loot and I'm like, yeah, whatever, do it. And then you can do it. Okay, so you're going to do a perception check to find a mouse. Or sorry, investigation check. Investigation to find a mouse who probably knows how to get in to the building without being seen, right? Yeah, well, you can't investigate for a mouse who knows how to get into ask. a building. You I can mean, yeah. I mean, mice can't Make can an investigation get check. And says, let's see if you find a mouse. Okay, I'm going to make an investigation. Let's see if I find a mouse. I'm excited. Oh, my God. This might actually work. <sighs> That's a 24. Wow. 24, yeah. That's beautiful. Do you want to add the other 
Sparta against Verizon. I mean, she doesn't like, need to. That's a 24. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know, with a 24, you guys walk out of Hot Topic and right there, sitting on like a little uh, mouse sized bench mm-hmm. is just a, a pretty, ch- it's not Bartholomew. It's a pretty chill looking mouse. And he looks at you guys and he's like, hello there, friends. How can I help? Oh my goodness. I've been looking for someone like you everywhere. Do you like sneak in to places around here at all? Oh, for sure I do. I could sneak in anywhere, anywhere at all. Anywhere at all? Oh, yeah. So if we were to try to sneak in to the, what's it called? Hall of Equity. The Hall of Equity? Have you ever done that? Um, uh, no, man. They'll, uh, they'll vaporize anybody who's not a devil. Why are you <sighs> looking to get into the Hall of Equity? Uh, unless you can think of anywhere else that might, People might know how to get to the next layer of hell. <laughs> I think I might know someone who uh, oh, yes? might be interested in meeting you. Ooh. Okay, but here's the thing. Uh, bring it up. Bring it up. Right? Mm. <laughs> so I have one requirement, okay? I want, I want, I want Vardis to be like crouching down on oh, the yeah, ground sure. right now. <laughs> to talk to if I'm going to help you guys out, you're going to have to help me out with a problem. See, mm. this city used to be filled with rats. Rats going Ooh. everywhere, all kinds of garbage and delicious stuff to eat. But uh, mm. anytime anyone goes and explores the Hall of Equity, they uh, disappear. Mm. So tell you what, I'll introduce you to the person you need to know if you help me out with my rat mystery. Sound good? Sure. All right, here. And he gives you a little like message stone. And he's like, when you figure out what's happening to all the rats, call me, okay? Done. You promise? What's your name? Oh, sure. My name, my name is <laughs> Famian. Schmartholomew. <laughs> my name is Famian. This is exactly how Famian. I expected that That's to go. That's a great name. Thank so you. So close to mine. Yeah. Famian. Can I do an inside check Damian, on whether he's Damian, lying Damian, about his name? You can do an inside check into me and whether or not I had a patron name prepared. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 20 natural. That's his natural, name. His name is his name crit? is Famian. Wow. With a 20, with a 20 plus three, his middle name is Elizabeth. That's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful name. What's his last name? Bark Crane. What's the first letter of it? F. F E F. Got it. Barkley? Bar- David? Charles Barkley. Famian My name is Charles Barkley the Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look, follow me, follow me. Cool. Before we go, okay. do you guys want to go to Wetzel's? No, Wetzel's? no, no, yeah, I don't. That was the I only thing to... I could say about Maul that rhymed right away that I could think of. Okay. Okay, first of all, <laughs> we can leave. <laughs> I'm going to need a pride-based pun on Wetzel's pretzels because I have done a very good job of establishing that the stores are always named after the sin of the lair, Heath, and I will not have you ruining that for me. <laughs> So you wind through the streets of Phlegathos and find yourselves outside of shabby old abandoned hospital. The door is creakily open as you walk inside and Fabian calls, Hey, Doc! Doc, I got some people here who are interested in meeting you. And you hear someone from inside go, Ah, wunderbar! New friends. Uh, someone has had an unfortunate run in with a super, I assume. And then he notices that none of you are like vaporized or hurt or lasered or murdered in some way. And he goes, Oh, um, you all appear to be uh, intact. Mm. How can I help? We were wondering how to get into the, to the next layer of hell. Ah, the next layer of hell. Um, well, I'm afraid I have bad news, my friends. Uh, this tends to be the stopping point for even the most powerful of explorers. I don't know if you've been told about the power crystals. Oh, yes, we have. You have. Okay. So the power crystals, they give all the devils the powers and then uh, everybody except for devils. And you notice that uh, this guy you're talking to, he actually is a devil. You say gives them the special powers and then anyone who isn't them uh, doesn't really have a chance. So the bad news is that... Um, I suppose I will use the names they are using now. Mr. and Mrs. Amazing are the heads of this layer, and they do not give away their key freely. Plus, the exit of this layer happens to be in the very center of the Hall of Equity. Mm. Yeah. Could we, like, you know, is it possible to fake your way in? Is it like a sensor system that makes realizes you're a devil, or is it like a Guard who's like, hey, you're not a devil. 
A chum probably has a hat with horns on it. <laughs> it's funny you should say that, my friend, because that Ooh. is exactly what that is. Ow. I, I gave you two options. Which one? Oh, the first one. Well, it's a, <laughs> okay. it's a sensor lever thing. The sensor. Yeah, okay, it's okay. a sensor. So, um, so it's like a never-ending story with the, the, the sentries with the zapper? Yeah, exactly. Except that you can't just walk by them and then run real fast at the end? Yeah, that, that, that's also a problem. Yeah. And also, why did the horse die? Like, what was that for? Like, I know I, everyone's I like, oh, know. it was so sad. It was such a big part of my child. But it doesn't change anything about the story. It's just like, and now the fucking horse dies. All right. What's that about? Anyways, follow me. So he, he leads you through the hallways and sort of into what appears to be like a secret laboratory inside this hospital. And he says, ah, but as we go, I suppose introductions are in order. I am Dr. Destruction. And uh, we have a going is nurse destruction. And uh, up ahead, you can see a dark-haired devil in a nurse's outfit is also, like, setting up lab equipment. He says, I used to be a standard Phlegathosian torturer. You know, typical medical torture stuff. Uh, cutting people open while they're awake. Uh, the thing where the dentist pokes between your teeth with the spike thing. And then they're like, oh, you're not flossing enough. And you're like, well, you're stabbing me in the tooth with a spike. So I did that. But then mm. Mr. and Mrs. Amazing came on the scene and I found myself, well cleaning up their mess so often that I find these days I heal more often than I hurt. And that is why the Amazings consider me and anyone who allies with me their enemy. Oh, I think. I I'm not sure. They're not very bright. Look, if you're interested in getting into the Hall of Equity, I have been working for the last few years on a means of fooling their senses. This is amazing. Does it involve a hat with horns on it? Mm, I'm afraid <laughs> it involves quite a bit more than a hat. And he opens up a double doors and you see an operating room filled with beds and surgical materials. And he says, like I said, it will not be pleasant. But if you give me the chance, we will be able to sneak you into the Hall of Equity disguised as devils. Now, the good news is that Mr. and Mrs. Amazing will be occupied this afternoon at a funeral for some collateral damage they caused last week. So uh, now is the perfect time to sneak in and uh, say that you want to join the League and get your hands on a power crystal. I think this is a great idea, guys. We should let this guy do surgery on us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, I'll just look more gothic. Now, before we begin, I do have to warn you, there is uh, an initiation test in order to actually get into the league. They don't let you let just walk in. I'm great at initiation tests. Okay, oh, fantastic. Oh, God. What is the initiation what, test? What, <laughs> what, what does it entail? Ah, that is the tricky part. So unfortunately, no one that is not already a super knows. It seems the knowing will have to be in the doing. So what do you say? Shall we devil you up? I feel like the shortest distance to me having a power crystal is in that surgeon's surgery yeah, just place. Going under the knife. Oh, yeah. is it? It's 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 not temporary, is it? I hope it's temporary. Yeah, it's definitely temporary. I promise. Can I do an insight check on whether he's lying? Yeah, go ahead. I would also like to. Oh shit! Twelve. Uh, you can't tell. Nine. He's fucking lying, Achoom. <laughs> oh, so we can't don't like oh, I feel him. like that means don't he's not like him. or is he because yeah lower and then you got that answer Ooh. right which means she's probably wrong right that's what I'm saying what if I oh Damien what if you shrink me down to pocket size and I just stay in someone's pocket this entire time it's a it's a sensor though it's not oh right 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 like, like that's what we've been told is that it senses mm, oh, non-devils fuck it. okay fine fine we could like throw her on the roof and she could like try and get down <laughs> okay I'm pretty sure he was telling the truth because of what just happened though right because mm. like she, well what did Eli said that she, he uh, Anna's sure that he was telling the truth but a tube is done <laughs> <laughs> okay gotcha. right clearly <laughs> clearly yeah tell a tube you know what fuck it I'm down to party let's do this very well let the surgery begin. Hey, everybody, just jumping in once again to thank you so much for listening to the show. This was a really fun one to do. They're all fun ones to do, and we appreciate you listening to them. And hey, you know what else we appreciate? If you give us your money. That's right. 
reach into your wallet, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D and D minus, all spelled out. And for as little as a dollar a show, you get a commercial free version of every episode. You get behind the scenes bonus extras for a little extra dollar here or there, or you can join the ranks of our illustrious Dungeon Master level patrons who create stuff for Tony D's House of Varying Quality Stuff. Don't you want to put your own stuff in the adventure and hear your name in it? I do. That's why I am part of the cast. Check it out over at patreon.com forward slash D and D minus. But hey, if you don't have any money, that's okay. We forgive you. It's not your fault. It's probably capitalism's fault. But you know what isn't capitalism's fault? giving us a five-star review on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Give us a five-star review. I get a nice little message every time that happens. It's nice, brightens up my day. And then you help other people find out about the show. That's how we've managed to climb the show up the ranks. We are consistently in the top 100 in our category in the United States, which is a buck wild thing to say for playing D&D with my friends uh, with assholes. Anyways, I have kept you long enough. Thank you for all that you do. Thanks for listening to the show. Let's get back to it. Newly anointed in your surgical devil costumes, you make your way to the Hall of Equity. Oh, wow. That was fast. Yeah, Yeah. what do we look like? We need a lot more detail. All right, so Achoom, (laughs) you are shaped. Right? You're one of those hairless cats. <laughs> oh, God. Ha! I'm sorry. I came out of whatever whatever reverie he had me under, and I just screamed. I haven't stopped screaming since. Yeah. Like that pug video where it's like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So she didn't really have surgery. She I just... love that you're keeping it universal, though, in your references, Eli, that pug video. If you ever watched yeah. that pug video oh. of the pug waking up out of surgery, <laughs> you don't know me. You don't watch my shows. You don't love me. All right? You don't get it. You're not uh, here for me. The pug scream. There's a lot of videos of the pug scream. Yeah, when the one with the subtitles where it's like, I, we killed God. No, that's <laughs> not a surgery one. That's a lady being like, pug party. Pug party. <laughs> that one's Fuck fucking you. funny. Yeah. Why are you? God is dead and God we killed him. We killed him. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> exactly. Great. Okay. So yeah, you're shaved. You're a, a shaved cat and you're bright red. Gravy, you're also shaved, but not bright red, because I don't know if you guys have pictured a shaved golden retriever, but that's a demon. That's a demon right there. (laughs) Shaved Um, golden. Vardos, you are dark red, (laughs) and you've been given a surgical pair of horns on either side of the head. Damien? Fuck yeah. You remain completely and totally unchanged. (laughs) Yeah, he had to, like, tone me down a bit. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I just Googled shaved golden retriever. Yeah, And they're weird. just like weirdly happy and don't care what's happened. <laughs> they're like still happy. I don't care. Yeah. I have no pants now. I haven't seen a golden retriever with a head shave. <laughs> I only see them mostly body shaved. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just its butt. Like just the just, back just half pants. of it. Yeah. They took the pants. Oh, here's one that's taken his whole suit. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He looks like a dapper gentleman. He does. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever need evidence that radical acceptance is the way to enlightenment, look at a bunch of pictures of golden retrievers <laughs> who are all very clearly like, I don't know, man, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't really think I have a lot of power in this situation, so I'm just kind of <laughs> dealing with it. Okay. <laughs> Seem worried about things beyond your control. I'm a dog. <laughs> no one dares take this. I found one with his You're a good dog. I head shaved and he just looks like a lab. He looks the most upset I've ever seen a golden, a golden retriever. retriever. Yeah. yeah. But even but then. Not upset, just like, I'm going to tilt my head a little bit. Yeah. He looks, <laughs> he looks, he's about to say, okay, that's what he looks. He's like, this was a bad haircut choice. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, okay. But like, also, okay. Yeah. He seems just a little cold. He's right. Like, exactly. He's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like sure? you did this. Can we just crank the heat real quick? You did this to me, Karen. So you make your way to the Hall of Equity, a shining crystal structure on the edge of Phlegathos. All along the trip are signs of the League of Equity's destruction. Buses thrown through buildings, buildings thrown through buses. It's obvious whatever help these heroes think they're doing, they're doing far more harm. You're not supposed to say that. I'm the narrator. It's cool. I talk I to me about it. <laughs> When you arrive at the crystal doors, a Eli super comes and kills me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> when you arrive at the crystal doors at the Hall of Equity, they hiss open pleasingly before you. 
Somehow your motion activates a speaker as you step inside and a cardboard cutout of Mr. Amazing, an incredibly handsome devil floating just off the ground speaks. Welcome, my fellow devils, to the League of Equity. I'm so glad you've decided to join us and leave cleanup duty behind. I promise, by the end of this process, you'll feel just super. <laughs> Forgive me, that's a little joke. Oh, and by the way, if you're OCs and you're listening to this and you're trying to sneak in, you're about to be vaporized. Nice try, you dastardly doers of dark deeds. That was really specific. Did you did you really just say the word specific, Mr. Rhymes, over here? <laughs> did you just... Sounds like it's going to be horrific. Hey! Well done. There well we done. go. Just give me a second. <laughs> and second? <laughs> and then a computer voice says, analyzing for devilry now, and a red laser passes over all of you and says, devilry analysis complete. The audio from Mr. Amazing starts up again, and he says, <laughs> just as I thought. Devils, pure and true. Well, now that the riffraff have been vaporized, let's get down to it. Your first challenge is with the incredible, awesome woman. And a door hisses pleasingly open in front of you. <laughs> Did you pause for us to do like a misogynistic remark about that? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just uh, letting or, everyone like, at home here she comes woman. Woman. appreciate awesome woman. <laughs> uh, guys, I want to just uh, remind everybody how chaste I am. I might need someone else to take this one for me, <laughs> depending on what they want us to do. Mm. So you step through the door, and this next chamber is totally different. In fact, it appears some magic has been worked here because the walls are no longer crystal as they were outside. They are cold, rough-hewn stone. Then, out of the darkness, without warning, a shining golden rope sails towards all of you at once. Everybody! Oh, it's going to be a lasso of truth. Make a dexterity saving throw for me. You're going to need a 19 not to be caught by this lasso. Fuck. Technically, a chum, you still have bardic inspiration. Oh. 18? That's a I seven. have that uh -oh. was 18. Wait, what do we Natural one. What do we okay, I, would, I would like to use my bardic inspiration to add to that. Go ahead. Okay. How do I do that? I add a what? You add a... I have a crit fail. Also a crit fail. Also a crit fail. I don't think it's going to matter, Anna. <laughs> no, it's for me, it is. Yeah. It's D8. D8. Yeah, you got so, like, you were a 17. <laughs> so I'm a shaved dog and a lasso came flying at me and I did the worst <laughs> possible physical thing I could have yeah, done. You caught now. it in your mouth. You yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, that, altogether, that's 26. So you know what it is? It's like at shoulder height for everybody so it catches them perfectly but a chum is just underneath that height yeah <laughs> so I'm just, Achum, I'm just like a red lizard yeah <laughs> look like. as as we continue on a chum you are unaffected by the lasso just a heads up okay so nice. everybody else you find yourselves firmly tied in a golden glowing rope a screen nearby turns on and a dark-haired woman speaks hello brave initiates i am awesome woman queen of the Americans. Yes, America, as we call it, is a small island hidden from most of the world. But there, we have contact with our God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> yes, I'm a super religious person who talks to their God as a part of their hero powers. Anyways, you're currently bound in my lariat of verite, which I can't emphasize enough, was given to me by the God I believe in and talk to all the time. Okay. I just want to be clear, though. The real place that we live in is like this, but hell has a woman in charge, so it's better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Anyways, while encircled, you cannot tell a lie. To make sure your intentions are pure, I will now ask you some questions. Answer honestly and correctly, and you'll be safe. Answer incorrectly, and you won't be feeling very awesome at all. And as she says that, all of your ropes pull an inch or two forward and two torches in front of you blaze into light, illuminating that all of these ropes feed into a giant spike-laden stone crusher. All right, initiates, may the power of Christ compel you. <laughs> Everybody, roll initiative for me. Fuck yeah. So a Jum's just like not in danger. Nat 20. That twenty. When it doesn't really matter. Fourteen. Mm, I'm. I got a ten. 
I got a fiver. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. There are no enemies to fight here, but on your turn, you are going to answer a question from Awesome Woman. Answer in a way that Awesome Woman doesn't like or in a way that isn't true, and you're going to have to make a strength check to keep from being pulled into the stone-crushing spikes. Mm. If you fail, you're going to take some damage, and the more times you mess up, the harder the strength check gets. Vardas, you were up first. She turns to you on the screen and says, Hi, you're an odd-looking devil. Little slapdasha. What's your name, and why do you want to join the League? Uh, my name is Vardas, and I want to join the League because I want a power crystal. Hmm. Not the most laudable of goals, but I'll take it. Then she turns to you, Damien, and she says, uh, I assume you're here for a power crystal as well. Uh, if you get your power crystal, what will you do with your powers? Hmm. I will. I'm going to do a persuasion check with this, and I'm going to say, I'm going to bring the most amazing music to everyone in Fleatherghost. <laughs> Whatever this place is. Flag of those. Flag of those. Flag of those. those. Thank you. You got so much closer than I would have gotten. (laughs) Now, Morgan, Morgan, out of character, is that what Damien actually wants to do with his power crystal? No, but that's why I'm doing it with a persuasion check. Nice. So the persuasion check does not matter. The lasso glows golden, and I'm going to need you to make a strength saving throw for me. You need to hit a 12 or higher. Now, you said we could say something that would either not be what she wants to hear or the truth. Right. And I feel like if I could persuade her that it's what she wants to hear, then that bypasses the truth. No, it's, it's one or the other. Either yeah. either is a fail condition. Exactly. They're both fail conditions, oh, not so success conditions. Oh, so something that the truth can still fail if she doesn't like the truth. Exactly, right. Yeah. That's why you can't Much just like be like, Christian we're here person. to kill yeah, you. Okay. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Can I cast Bardic Inspiration on myself before I do it? You cannot, in fact. Cool. Well, here we go. Strength saving throw or check? Uh, Saving throw for sure. Ooh, 13. 13. Yes, the the rope creaks you ever slower towards those spikes, but you manage to survive. All right, Achoom, she turns to you now and she goes, wait a second. Um, Do you have a rope around you? Yes. That's what she wants to hear, right? Yep. I suppose the lasso would have gone off if you didn't. So um, two down, two to go. Uh, If you're given your power crystal, do you intend to harm the League of Equity or any of its members, little demon cat? I would never. Yeah, and she just turns away. She's all right, well, then didn't get dragged by a rope. Okay. (laughs) And finally, uh, you. Uh, Sorry, I, I haven't seen this kind of devil before. Are you a devil dog? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a devil dog. Uh, I've, I've shaved, as you can see. They, they call me Shavy Gravy. <laughs> <laughs> he got himself with that one. Sometimes I rhyme, depending on the time. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, Heath, out of character. Yeah. Thank God. Do they call you <laughs> Shavy Gravy? Yeah. I mean, nobody's ever called him Shavy Gravy. Ah. There's a lot of buzz about Shavy Gravy. Do they call you Heath Enright? You look at me in my heart with the lasso of truth of our friendship around you. Do they call you <laughs> Shavy Gravy? <laughs> yes. All right. They call you Shavy Gravy. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, here's your question then. Um, and this is an easy one. I, I like to throw out an easy one every now and then because... I am blessed by my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who I, (laughs) a superhero, mention on a regular basis. Just throwing that out there. Anyways, who is the coolest Ninja Turtle? Oh, Oh, well, uh, uh, obviously it's Raphael. He's cool but rude. He's like famously cool but rude. You must make a strength saving throw. No, he is cool. <laughs> yeah. And Michael the, Andrew is the party dude. No, that, that is, is like the, the cool truth. one. Like you, if you ask which one is the cool it's one. It's not Eli's opinion last I literally no, got it last right <laughs> and rhymed it using the song. Are you fucking kidding me? I am <laughs> the god of the universe and I think Donatello is the cool one. He's not though. Like, like literally it's not if you true. read it's the, the fucking song. It's not. It doesn't matter. Make a strength saving throw. 
You're wrong. I'm doing You're it for wrong. myself too. So I'm Don't wrong. you dare make a strength saving throw. This will go on forever. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. I'm happy to dig in. You make a sale. <laughs> I get exploded by Miss the, the fast guy, <laughs> and we just move on. All right, and what am I doing? On. Stand your ground. Doing strength, strength, saving? strength saving throw. You're going to need a 14 or higher. Yeah, I'm clearly going to get that. Yeah, fuck yeah, 24. Yeah, you absolutely hold this back. Fuck yeah. All right, she says, very well. You all answered my questions correctly. And you hear a satisfying hiss as the lariats around you go slack. And the door to the next chamber opens. I'm going to cast Bardic Inspiration on myself, just in case. Can you do Bardic Inspiration on yourself? Yes. Yeah, you can. Okay, great. I'm going to strut into the next room. I'm feeling (laughs) it. Once again, you enter a new chamber. And once again, it is totally different. You find yourself standing on a diving board above a large tank of water. A screen comes to life in front of you, and a blonde guy in a lame orange and green suit who looks nothing like Jason Momoa says, I am Waterboy, the most useful (laughs) member of the League of Equity. I can can breathe underwater and talk to fish. Cool. Sounds great. So cool. I bet your movie is going to be a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all on one diving board? Yeah, you're all on one diving board. Yeah. Like a big like Olympic diving board? Exactly. Yeah. And I'm going to start like just instinctually bouncing up and down. A little. <laughs> wait, wait. Is it platform or springboard? That one. Okay. That's yeah, two things. Then I'm gonna bounce. That's two things. The big one, probably platform. You mean platform? Donatello. <laughs> I would think platform. He says to you, people always say that my powers are lame which is why to pass my test, you'll have to face a gauntlet of my underwater friends. Defeat them, and you've passed my challenge. I I would like to cast, surreptitiously cast Breathe Water on me and everybody else here. Ooh, read that spell description for me. This spell grants up to 10 willing creatures you can see within range the ability to breathe underwater until the spell ends. Affected creatures can retain their normal mode of respiration. All right. Solid. Fantastic. Yeah, so you can all breathe underwater. Let me just delete this fucking... It'd be pretty (laughs) shitty if you couldn't keep breathing. (laughs) Holding your breath mechanic I had for this upcoming battle. That's fucking nice. I would like to cast Eli, go fuck yourself. (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry, Heath. Anna just cast that. Oh, yeah. We don't need to. I'll save the spell You and Michelangelo. What you get for fucking down? Literally cool but rude. (laughs) Doesn't say how cool in comparison to the other turtles. <laughs> the word existing in like their cool, part like of the cool, song. Cool, like enough that it would be mentioned in the song. I look, I'm not just the arbitrator of the universe, okay? I'm just telling you what the literally module two says. I would reply to him in the theme song. I'm Nobody literally has reading cool out of the song. Dungeons and Dragons property that I run this campaign out of, okay? This, this, this is the question that they have Mrs. Awesome read, the famous Christian superhero. <laughs> like, this is just <laughs> bringing up with Gary Gygax. You know what I'm saying? I think the rat was the coolest. Donatello just does machines. That's all he's got. He's a nerd. He that's the whole point of him. Doesn't he have a gun? No, no. he has a stick. Donatello he has a stick. In our world, he, one of them had a gun. No, <laughs> he has a stick. He has the thing that the worst people in the world have. They have a bow staff and they just spin it around and they think they have risk control. No, the bow it's staff the is like like when there's too many ninjas, like the yeah. fight scene isn't over until the bow staff is introduced. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you're saying that the, the people who wield <laughs> bow staffs are worse than the people who wield nunchucks, Heath then, right? No, I didn't say Michelangelo. I said Raphael. He has Psy. Psy's are pretty fucking cool. John Wick Wields nunchucks. What are you trying to say about nunchuck people? I would say that uh, then I'm going to say something bold and then we'll figure out what you guys do about this pool. (laughs) Are you going to switch it to nunchaku to give yourself a little bit more credibility? Thank you. 1% of people who wield nunchaku are awesome. (laughs) 99% of people who wield nunchaku, including myself in college, way more than I would like to admit. At January 6th. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Are the worst. All right. John Wick will take it. Okay. Fantastic. All right. So yeah, you're all standing above this pool. Achuma's just cast breathe water on you. What do you do? I'm pretty sure I dive in because I'm just psyched about it because I'm a golden retriever. And now I can breathe (laughs) underwater too. Gravy jumps in. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to make an investigation check on the water. Ooh, I love that. But that's a 10. That's a 10. I'll tell you this. For a 10, you see... Mm? A turtle? Do I see a frog? (laughs) (laughs) 
you see eight dark shapes moving about in the water. Mm. Plus shavy gravy. <laughs> Plus shavy gravy happily splashing around. <laughs> he hasn't seen them yet, has he? He has not. Okay. Nice. It's my turn. So It's um, all of your turn. Do you want me to tell turns. you about yeah. the water? I'm in it. <laughs> there's a there's eight things in there with you. There's eight th- guys, this is the best though. I'm waiting for the other half of the room. This is the best. I feel blessed. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> awesome woman appears on the screen and goes, I love that. I talk about this kind of thing all the time. <laughs> all right. So I've been desperately Googling, trying to find the name of like a really super fancy dive I could try to do because I don't know anything about diving, but mm. I'm just going to dive in. I'm just going to cannonball it. Excellent. Fantastic. I just want one person in the Olympics to be like, ah, fuck it, cannonball. <laughs> just one <laughs> time, right? you know? Greg yeah. Luganus. No, no. <laughs> uh, younger listeners, he hit his head on a diving board and almost died. It was very really uh, sad at the time, uh-huh. but it's funny now. It's funny now. Right? Mm. I'm going to do an athletics check on my dive. Go ahead. 12. 12, yeah. Pretty decent dive. Oh, I want to do an athletics check for mine too. Absolutely. Let's athletics. figure out if we get a belly flop here. 11. Uh, not as good a dive. One mm. 20th worse than Damien. The, the goth kid beat you. Yeah. Is it wet? It is. It's water. <laughs> mm. Mm. But you don't have fur anymore. So, you know. That's true. How, how high up are we again? No matter how you jump, you're landing on your feet in the water, right? I know, but can I do it from up here is the thing. Can I? 15 feet. 15 feet? Yeah. So I can just stay up here and cast from up here. I'll be nice. fine. I'm good. I, I'm all set up here. <laughs> all right. Well, Achum takes his place on the diving board above you. And I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself. And cast Mage Armor on himself. But the rest of you slowly notice those dark shapes form. On four different corners of the pool, four large green tentacles come into view. On your right, two sets of vicious piranhas. And on your left... Two giant electric eels swim menacingly towards you. Everybody, roll initiative. One, All right. Two, three. <laughs> you are completely fine. No. You do not need to do it again. <laughs> I said I was going to do it again. I said no. We no, do, no, no. I was ready for. I was ready to do Thank it again. You. I, you. I, I did it again with you. Just so you know, I get extra credit Thank for you. that. Clap yes. on two and four, right, Anna? <laughs> Yeah. I never remember right. which one's the bad one. I so know, I and then he it. says the correct <laughs> one when he's trying to make fun of it. It's very funny. The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2024. All rights reserved.